Just as far as uh, today with the recruiting and signing, how would you feel about the class? Yeah, fantastic group. Uh, couldn't be more pleased. Uh, all terrific young men. Uh, they uh, wanted to be Sooners for quite a while. They committed pretty early. Uh, uh, they they complement each other very well from a skill standpoint. Uh, good work ethic, uh, good basketball players. So we're excited about it very much. Just with uh, Devion specifically, held on to him for so long, it seemed like. He's, he's about as full go OU as I've seen. Yeah, his family have been great uh, from uh, day one. Uh, they've uh, supported that OU gear and they've uh, talked, uh, talked to Sooners and been up to campus a lot of games, football weekends, basketball weekends. Uh, yeah, he's a great addition and a uh, you know, standing young guy and a great family. How, how important was he in terms of trying to recruit the wrestling class? It's always nice to get one or two in early to have a core from which to build, and, and that happened with Davion. And, and people always like playing with, with quality point guards. So uh, Davion's a guy that uh, can make players around him better, and that's his primary objective. And uh, that, uh, you know, it's hard to measure how much, but uh, it definitely helps to get a player like that in the fold early. What's it like having back-to-back, -back, or almost back-to-back, -back point guards, uh, highly touted point guards coming? Oh, it's great to have point guards, uh, no question. Uh, I think Aaron is doing a really good job right now. Jamal came in the other night and, uh, last, uh, on the weekend and played great. So uh, Davion comes in next, week, uh, next year. So it's always nice to have point guard, good leadership out there in front. More difficult with this class because you knew you were going to have five or six seniors. You knew you had to get a lot of, a lot of kids. It was important that we had a good recruiting class. Anytime you lose six seniors, it's important to bring in uh, a group behind them. So uh, we knew that going in that uh, this year, 19, was going to be a, a critical group from a recruiting standpoint, and uh, it's worked out well. I know you don't necessarily look at the rankings or anything, but this is the highest ranked class since you've been here. I mean, do you think sort of the talent and the guys that you have in this class reflect that? Yeah, I don't know what's ranked, but, uh, but uh, yeah, it's a good class. And again, like you say, it, uh, it's kind of irrelevant until they actually get here and produce and play. But, uh, but we think... Uh, Three years from now, we'll look back on this class and say uh, it was a really good class because I think they're all very good players and uh, good workers and right attitudes. It's early, but just how how do you feel like you guys played on the road? The trip was great for us. Uh, learned a lot. Uh, anytime you can win a couple road games and learn, uh, that's probably the best case you know, scenario. So uh, you know, different guys, different nights stepped up. I thought uh, and this is going to be a group that uh, you know. Uh, it's not going to be the same guy every night. Christian James certainly scored both nights. That was great to see. But it'll be a, a year where different guys step up on different nights and contribute in different ways. Could, could you see the confidence building with Jamal with each minute he spent out there? I did. Yeah, I did. Again, his second college game. So you'd expect uh, some comfort to come with the more he plays. So, yeah, I thought he played very uh, played well at, uh, at Rio Grande Valley. with was a little frantic, a little sped up there perhaps. They look much more comfortable, a better pace uh, Monday in San Antonio. Is he a guy that you have to slow down sometimes because he does always seem to have so much energy? He and Miles uh, are two guys that have a ton of energy, which is great. You know, we, uh, uh, yeah, we have to kind of you know, call it a little bit sometimes, but we'd rather work in that direction than trying to work in the other. What he was able to do on defense, especially with five steals, is that something that you saw when you recruited him, or has it been a little bit of a surprise? Yeah, that, that's probably the thing that jumps from his high school career more than anything else. I mean, there's many things that he does well defensively and getting deflections and getting his hands uh, in passing lanes, uh, probably the thing that stood out as much as anything. With, with him being kind of longer and bigger than Aaron, does his kind of versatility on defense allow you to play both of those guys together and it does. feel good about it? It does, for sure, as we did uh, against San Antonio. They were both in there for uh, good parts of the second half, and uh, uh, Jamal thought he was very comfortable at the wing as well, which he's been doing all year long, so uh, in practice. So, uh, yeah, they'll be in there together at times. The Fletcher McGee kid, the one guy that jumps off the page with Wofford coming in on Sunday? He is, uh, although we got the other two guards shoot it well, too. Yeah. You know, Hoover and uh, Murphy are both uh, terrific shooters also. Uh, then they got Jackson inside and a lot of other good players around those four. But, uh, but those four are the, are the core for, for a very good team. And uh, you know, they've had great success in Chapel Hill last year and, and had left their line on the ropes two weeks ago. So we know uh, how good they are. Uh, Coach Young does a great job in, in preparing them and, and they play well. Going into the home opener, what does that mean for your energy getting to be back in Norman? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Kind of unusual 
Nationals have been the first two on the road, so uh, great to come away with wins and now to come home and hopefully uh, get, uh, get a good crowd in here. Anyone who goes to a football game can use that ticket to get into the basketball game, so get a few of those 85,000 over here for basketball on Sunday would be great. Is there a little bit more comfort just from everybody with each other than you expected, you know, being in the second game of the season? It already seemed like everything was clicking a little while. I don't know that we got to what we expected, but, but certainly good. The level of the comfort, the chemistry is great. Uh, they, they, and again, I think even spending those uh, four days on the road last weekend was good for them. And they uh, seemed to really enjoy moving the ball to each other. We've been a good practice group all year long. so. Uh, uh, yeah, we think that's a, a strength of this group.